Welcome to the first in a series of videos about IoT and hardware hacking. The topic we're going to cover first of all is firmware emulation. Firmware emulation allows us to run the software of IoT devices without the physical hardware. And this is useful for a few reasons. If I don't have the device yet, I'll do this to get a look at how the software runs without the device. It can highlight some areas of low-hanging fruit for me to give some further investigation to. There are a few ways which you can emulate the firmware, but the tool we're going to be using is the Firmware Analysis Toolkit, or FAT for short. FAT automates another tool called Firmadyne that's used in firmware emulation. And Firmadyne ultimately uses Kimu under the hood, uh, or Quick Emulator. So to get started, we're in our FAT directory here. I've downloaded it and installed it and tested it. Uh, there'll be a link in the description of how you can get FAT set up. But once it is set up, it's as simple as running the FAT Python script and then choosing uh, the firmware you would like it to run against. In my case, it's this firmware from a IP camera. So I've run the FAT Python script against the IP cam firmware. It's typical for it to take quite a while and hang on the network connection phase. Uh, but once it's finished, you'll see you'll get a prompt to push enter to start the firmware. And this is interesting. See here we have an error for a file that isn't present. We're going to talk later about how to create these files and get over these kind of errors. So you can see here we've been met with a login prompt. Uh, I don't know what the creds are at the moment but uh, I'm going to try a few obvious ones, root and root, uh, admin and admin is another one. But I will show you how we can figure out what the credentials are. In order to get the credentials, we can get the passwd and the shadow file from the root file system. We can unshadow them and crack them with a tool called John. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So in the Firmadyne folder in your FAT directory, there is a directory called scripts. If we navigate into there, you'll see there's a shell script called mount. We want to run this and then we want to specify the image we've just extracted as a parameter. Uh, mine is one because it's the only uh, firmware I've extracted. Great, and you can see it gives you uh, the directory to which it's mounted it. So I'm going to navigate there. And you'll see here that we have the root file system. The files I'm interested in are in the etc folder. Past wd here and shadow here. So what I'm going to do is run unshadow. Combine both of those into this unshadowed.txt. Then I'm going to run John against it with a word list. I've used rock you in this example. And you see there it's returned the credentials with the username root. The password is 123. So now we have these credentials. Let's go ahead and test them out. If I navigate back, I can run the run script directly. And that will start my firmware emulation again. Here I have the login prompt, I will try root, followed by the password, and you can see now 
uh, I've been given access. I hope you found the introduction to firmware emulation with BAT useful. I want to mention the error we received when we first started the firmware emulation. It was complaining about a file that didn't exist. I'd like to mention that if you create files in the file system that we mounted, so here I've created the, the missing file, that will persist and be picked up the next time that you emulate the firmware and run it. So if I now run this run script, you'll see that the error is gone. There are a few more, in which case it would just be a case of repeating the process, creating the files that you expect. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you.